my memories of World War II started, well, earlier maybe, but um, mostly my little sister Annie was born on, in 1943. And so uh, I remember that clearly. And the war was going on. And uh, we were playing upstairs, my sister and I, and my, uh, not my younger sister, but she was a year younger than me. And we played upstairs and uh, we just heard a motorcycle coming. And that was not so, so, so uh, special, but this one was noisy. And so we looked out of the window and we saw two Germans coming and they were driving a motorcycle with an, an uh, seispan and somebody who could sit there. And uh, so, and we were looking at it and they came to our driveway and we said, oh my goodness, the Germans come to our house. And so uh, my mom was home downstairs and they knocked on the door and she opened the door and he said, where is your husband? She said, well, he's not home. And uh, where's the truck? And so she said, that's not home either. But then she recognized right away uh, one man, there were two men, the one man, because my dad uh, has a an, uh, an truck who drove milk from the factory to Amsterdam, to, south, uh, to the southern part of Holland, because the people didn't have enough milk there, because uh, the Germans took all the stuff away. So uh, they drove a truck for the factories to the people there. And so once a week. And my father re uh, hired a guy to do this. Because my father was a, he was a, he bought cows from farmers and then sold them on the market. So that was his job. And so uh, this guy who worked for my dad stole money and my dad found out, so he fired him. And uh, that was about before the war, that happened before the war, so three years ago, before that. And uh, so my mom recognized him and he, he knew my mom too. And so uh, he said, uh, well, where is your uh, truck? My mom said, well, he's not here. They're gone, it's gone. So he said, uh, and your husband? Also, he's not home. So he said, uh, well, if he's not home by six o'clock, it was around two o'clock when he knocked at our door, we'll come back and uh, the truck has to be here also. And uh, if not, then we take you and the children. So, and then they left. And my mom was all uh, afraid. And so we lived in a um, narrow street with the neighbors. Uh, we were all, to, you know, all getting along very nice. And my mom went to my neighbor, uh, to the neighbors, and said, "Well, help me because I don't know what to do. I want to go to the farmer. They are our friends. So, uh, you know, can you take care of the house a little bit and see?" So uh, she put us. She put uh, my youngest, my little sister. Uh, she was born in 1943. That clock needs a. <laughs> Um, anyways, I don't know how she got my little sister. I mean, she was already what older, I guess, because she had to have her in a little seat on the back of the bike. Anyways, but I think two neighbor girls took us on their bike and they went with my mom to the farmer. And so the farmer didn't know we were coming because he had no telephone. So, but that was good because we, my dad was in the army with, with this farmer. So they were very good friends. So we went there and we stayed there nine weeks and um, the neighborhood boy from across the street my mom told him go on your bike and find my my husband and tell him not to go home because the germans want him so that's what they did so then uh, the house was empty by six o'clock at night the neighbors took all the furniture out and uh, one neighbor had our uh, uh, table or our chairs and another neighbor had an uh, other stuff, uh, furniture. So when the Germans came, there was nothing in the house. And, uh, and the truck was not there either because uh, my dad told the neighbor also, he, he had a brother living in the same street who had a, a big company, straw company, who drove straw regularly to Germany. So he was a big, had a big company. 
and they he told them, well, get the truck, tell the guy, who, you know, watch out for him, that he drives to your house and uh, to his house, so take the tires off and dump them in the lake, and then uh, dump them in the lake, and then you know let the car, truck stand at his uh, place without the wheels on it. So the Germans came back, and nobody was there, and the truck was not there, and they didn't know where the truck was. So, anyways, we stayed at the farm, and my dad came there later on too, and he. Uh, they were more, the farmer had more people hiding there because uh, lots of farmers had Jews or other people who were running away from the Germans. So they took us in and it was really nice of them. Uh, they gave us the front room, their kind of living room, and put one bed in and some smaller beds for our kids. So, uh, so this, this farm, was uh, having a long driveway and uh, the farmer's wife always looked out the window but she could see somebody coming on the driveway so she was watching it all the time because Germans would come there regularly and so one day she said uh, oh come come on there's a German car coming so go behind the curtain she had a in a big kitchen she had a curtain crosswise you know hanging a big brown thick curtain and my, my uh, mother and we, the kids, stayed behind that curtain and we had to be very, very quiet. And uh, my father and the other people, they had a haystack, the farmer had a haystack, and uh, they uh, duck, duck, had dug a deep, deep hole to the bottom. And so all those high, uh, people who were hiding went in that uh, hole so the Germans couldn't find them. And so my mom tried it one time too, but she couldn't. She said, no, I can't be in that hole. So we were hiding behind the curtain. And uh, so the Germans came and they, couldn't, they didn't find us. So another time they came back again, but we, we did not, uh, we were playing outside. And so uh, the, the farmer has a boy and a girl, and the girl was older than me, and she said, well, Come, let's play in the stables because the stables were empty in the summertime because the cows were in the field and in the wintertime they had the cows on the stable. So we, as kids, played in those stables because it was clean. And so she was maybe five years older than me and she never played with us because she had duties to do at the farm. So I thought by myself, why is she playing with us? And she told us, don't go outside, don't go outside, stay in the stables. And we didn't know why, but later on we found out uh, the Germans, they were Germans, and so they were hiding us in the stable, they, we couldn't get out. So anyways, um, so we stayed there nine weeks, and uh, we enjoyed it there because they had cows, and we drank uh, milk right from the cow, and we went into the field with the, with the people who worked at the farm, and the boy was uh, my age, and so, we had a, a good time. We didn't know what was going on, but lots of bad things were happening. My dad one time came home and all upset because he was every day going visiting the farmers if they had any cows for sale. And he came home and he was so upset and he says uh, one farmer had hide, was hiding about seven Jews and uh, uh, they, the Germans found them and they lined them up outside seven people and they shot them just like that all dead and that was terrible and so uh, he was very upset about that and then uh, well after the nine weeks uh, they i guess they told us that we could move back in the house so we went back to our neighborhood and our house we came into our house and i remember it was filthy full of cigarette butts all over the place and they walked in with mother boots, mother on their, uh, mud on their shoes, you know, dirty. So the neighborhood girls across from us, they had a big family, they had 12 children and the oldest one was about 18 and then 17 and uh, you know, so those two girls, they helped us, my mom to clean the house and we had to clean everything. So they cleaned it. Uh, 
I, I don't remember much how that all went, but anyways, we got all the, our furniture back and everything, and I had, uh, of the cross the road, the one girl was my age, and she said, oh, I miss your divan, because we always laid on it nicely. And uh, I said, well, now we have it again, you know, so it was, it was really nice. The neighbors were all, because it, when it's a difficult time, or German, when the Germans were there, we all, you know, were together, and we helped each other. 